What's up, YouTube? Today's topic, pickup trucks. I've always, 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 always wanted a pickup truck. Growing up in Europe, they're not that common. It just makes them amazingly cool. The real topic today is pickup trucks, why I love them, and yet I don't understand them. I tried to weigh this up in my head, see, the, see what the pros and cons were. So let's weigh all this up. Here are five facts about owning a pickup truck and why everybody should go out and buy one immediately. One, did you wake up this morning feeling slightly emasculated? Do you feel like you need a top up in masculinity? Are you feeling like you could use a top up of testosterone? Laboratory tests on naked mole rats have shown driving a pickup truck is more efficient in delivering that testosterone than a direct shot to the heart. Two, it is irrefutable that driving a pickup truck puts more hair on your chest irrespective of your gender. 2.5, bonus. If you go for a dually, owning a pickup truck will even put hair on your back. And let's face it, who doesn't love a hairy back? Three, half the cool people on this planet and in modern history have driven pony cars, but the other half have driven pickup trucks and a third half have towed their pony cars using their pickup trucks. Four, Bruce Springsteen. Five, it's the vehicle that built America. Or you thought it was the people. No, it was the pickup truck. So no wonder I've always wanted a pickup truck. And finally, I drove one. Fittingly, it was actually a silver Silverado. It was the uh, four litre six cylinder one, and it was way back in the day. I'll be honest, that particular one didn't handle too well. In fact, it handled terribly. Trying to take a corner in any speed was a bad experience. Worse still, it was a scary experience. In fact, Driving that particular pickup truck necessitated the need for me to permanently wear brown trousers. However, just to be fair, and in the name of science, I felt that perhaps the Silverado, or at least that particular version, may have been a bit of a lemon. So I went for a second pickup truck. This time, it was a Silverado. Again, it was silver. But this time, it was the 5.3 litre V8. And I was very excited, because come on, a V8. Finally. I was driving a fully fledged, fully caffeinated, tobacco spitting American V8. And to be perfectly frank, the engineering was so well put together in that particular truck that you could barely hear the engine. As far as performance, I couldn't tell the difference between the, the V8 and the V6. As far as economy, again, I couldn't tell particularly between the V8 and the V6, but I didn't let that stop me. I went for a third pickup. And this time, I went for a Ram with a 5.7 V8 with the Hemi. I'll be honest, that one with the 5.7 litre V8 sounded amazing. In my view, pickups aren't there to be economical. They don't need to handle particularly well, and they don't. They are cool and they're a part of culture to such a degree, not just in the US, but across the globe, that irrespective of where you are, it is cool to drive a pickup truck. But yet, growing up in Europe, I still can't shake off the feeling that having a van is just more practical. Don't get me wrong. Given half an opportunity, I will go out and get another pickup truck. Because at this point, I'm just a moth to a flame. I can't help it. It's so beautiful. But a van, if we truly wanted to get things moving, if we really truly wanted to, well, you know, protect the cargo from the elements, wouldn't a van make a better purchase? Let's think about the, the flip side. We've gone through the five and a half points that make a pickup truck cool and worthwhile buying. What about the, the alternatives? <coughs> well, let's list four reasons why pickups aren't a good idea and why a van may be a better option. One, you're a musician in a band. Let's assume you're a musician in a band and let's assume you haven't quite made it as big as Lenny Kravitz. You probably don't want your musical instruments and all other paraphernalia stolen from the back of your truck at every stoplight. Van may be the solution for you. Two. You're a dog owner. Think about this. How epically excited will your canine friend be if they were able to sit with you and your friend or partner or wife or husband adding to your conversation, being a part of the inner circle finally, whilst half their body and all of their tongue is dangling out of the, uh, the van itself with the wind in the hair and the tongue flapping in the wind. Three, you have a cat. That next trip to the vet will be far more regal in a van if you're a cat owner. In fact, 
I suspect the pharaohs would put their seal of approval on that one. After all, if anybody deserves to travel in style, it's your cute, furry, domestic house murderer. And lastly, four, as to why we should go for a van and not a pickup truck. Picture this. It is the day after the Thursday that was Thanksgiving next November. Very meta, I know. Go with it. And you've got yourself an amazing deal on a 75-inch QLED, OLED, WTF HD TV. That trip home from Best Buy no longer needs to be a game of precipitation-based Russian roulette. You can take that massive TV home with you without worrying about the elements at all. So in conclusion, it may make more sense to have a van and it may be more practical, but buying a car, any car, always vote with your hearts, people, and go out there and get yourself a Ford F-150. Peace.